time now for the Bellistrator and coach a couple explosive plays here for the Kansas City Chiefs. Looks like we're going to take a look at uh, Mahomes and Tyreek Hill, and we've seen that before. Yeah, there's a couple familiar faces there with uh, Mahomes and of course Tyreek and and uh, Kelsey and those guys, and then and then they have a new guy, uh, the running back. But we'll start with uh, we'll start with the Hill play uh, against uh, the Chargers, and this is this is Hill in a slot uh, and. Off a quick fake here, uh, Mahomes rolls out, and Hill comes in here and does a good job of you know stemming at the middle of the field safety, uh, and then breaks you know deep for the back corner. Uh, Mahomes throws this on the run. It's really a good throw, just as he's getting hit. And you can see there's really really not a lot of space here to get this ball in. Uh, the defender's got good leverage. Free safety's over the top, squeezing us off, and there's really. Very little space there for that ball to, to get through, um, but it does. And Mahomes makes a great play, just throws it over the top of the corner um, for for a touchdown. Really becomes the you know the game tying score uh, that took him into overtime. When he first came into the league, obviously he's the cheetah fastest guy in the league. He's really starting to turn into a good downfield receiver now, as far as being able to run routes and fit schematically within an offense, right? Yes, they use them in a number of different ways. It's not all deep routes. It's crossing routes and speed sweeps, and a lot of times he'll motion into the backfield and uh, be involved in misdirection plays. So he's a he's a big time downfield threat. Uh, he's also a, a very explosive catch and run player, uh, and they use him effectively as a decoy to try to you know suck some attention from the defense and open up something for uh, one of their other skill guys. So uh, he's a he's a tough guy to defend. Okay, on to uh, Edwards Halar here, the rookie. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of an interesting play, uh, an interesting concept that they use. So uh, the Texans are in a man-to-man -man coverage. Uh, so uh, what Kansas City is doing is they're they're running these players down the field and running uh, uh, the tight end out, which forces somebody to go cover him. So they, they eliminate those guys and then do the same thing down here at the bottom and you know eliminate these guys. So by by just you know running a pass pattern, uh, they they, they get all these guys dragged out of the play and then, you know, hand it off up the middle. So, again, this is more effective than, than trying to block these players that forces the defense to go cover them. Uh, and then when Edward Solaire breaks the line of scrimmage, then, you know, he's got a lot of a lot of space to run in. So, uh, the two extra players here uh, in the box for the Texans, uh, McKinney, uh, who ends up, you know, missing a tackle here. All right, and then Reed coming out of the middle of the field. Another good player, uh, missing him as well. So uh, this is kind of a good example of what the Chiefs do to you. They they spread you out, um, and you know here Houston's got a couple guys that you know maybe on paper should make the play, but you know good running by in this case the, the back, uh, but it could also be Kelsey, it could be Hill, it could be you know any number of guys that um, take advantage of their their skill and their running ability to break tackles and you know, turn short plays in the long one. So I'm sure they got to be happy with him. <laughs> sure are. Uh, hey, Coach, great stuff. Good luck this week against Kansas City. I know it's a big AFC interconference matchup. So good luck and go kick their butts. Yeah, appreciate it. Thanks, Scott.